I don't know if this is like a forbidden thing to do in Germany, but I think it tastes good. So we are here in Rotenburg, Ob der Tauber, and today we're headed out to do a little bit of a food tour to find out what to eat when you come visit this prestigious city here in Germany. So perhaps the food Rothenberg is best known for is Schneeballen because it's actually from here, but it's a staple you'll find all throughout Germany, especially at Christmas markets. We actually had it, I believe, in Gossler about two years ago, and it was so, so at the Christmas market, but because it's from here, it's something we're really excited to try. So they have tons of flavors here, but we got the cinnamon sugar one, and we're gonna see how it is, but we might have to be back to try some of the other flavors because they looked absolutely delicious. It's pretty good. I'm gonna already say definitely better than the one in Gossler. It's like almost a, I don't know, fried dough pie crust type ball. And then they just have this cinnamon sugar layering on it. It tastes fresh. It doesn't taste like it's been sitting out perhaps for a week or so. There are tons of places all over Rothenburg that have this, but we stopped here at Diller. And I'm gonna say you definitely have to come here, but we're here for a while. So we might have to check out at least one other place just to compare it. So stay tuned for that. So typically Schneebones just don't really do it for me. I don't know, maybe we just haven't had a good one. So I'm gonna try this one. As Mike said, cinnamon sugar. I think the traditional ones are just with powdered sugar. Mm. I mean, okay, so I'll, yeah, I'll say that this one's better than the other ones we tried, but it's a bit dry for me. Like, should I dip it in coffee or, or maybe try one of the ones that are covered or filled with something? It's, it's good, but I don't need to eat like a whole one of these. Okay, I'm dipping in coffee to see. No, yeah, not too bad. I think it makes it a little bit better, a little bit more moist. So yeah, maybe this is the way to go. I don't know if this is like a forbidden thing to do in Germany, but I think it tastes good. So we decided to stop at Landwehrbrau am Term and got a Radler here. They have great local beer, so I'm really excited to try this. That's perfect, especially for this hot, nice, sunny summer day. It just goes down smooth, not too alcoholic, but definitely very lemony, and I really like it. I'm excited for the food we ordered because they had a lot of great options here. All right, so we got two things to eat here. The first one being a pizza, which is just like a kind of flatbread pizza. It has a sour cream base as well as some roasted cauliflower on it. They had quite a few vegetarian options. Some big bite, but those flavors go really well together. It has the barbecue sauce on it, which is kind of interesting and not something you see often in Germany, but that was really good. And now we have, other than the bees around here, we have the Spätzle here. I've had Kaiser Spätzle before here in Germany and I really like it. We've done it in a few other videos, including one in Hanover. This one's interesting. It has tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, something crunchy in there. It's pretty good, but it's definitely not my favorite one I've ever had. It's definitely a place to come if you like local beer, as well as a bunch of good vegetarian options for food. So we just stopped in at Brotenzeit, a little cafe that we just got some sandwiches for lunch, but we did get another Schneeballen to go. So we got a mini one this time, which is probably good um, <laughs> in case we want to get some more. This one, we did try a different flavor. It was the vanilla frosting one. So let's see how this one tastes. I can't really pull this one apart like the other one, so I'm just going to go for it with my teeth. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really good. It's just covered in like white chocolate. This one's not as dry. The like dough part itself is still consistent, like that pie crusty flavor, um, but this is really good. It's just like that covered in white chocolate or vanilla. We might have to try a third. While not exactly a food or drink tasting, this fascinating part of Rotenberg's history feels like it fits perfectly in a food tour because it's not only food adjacent, but it also helped shape the city. In 1631, the Protestant city of Rotenberg was captured by a Catholic army during the Thirty Years' War and was going to be destroyed. The invading leader was offered a huge tankard of wine as a gift from the townspeople to save the city. But 
Instead of taking it, he decided to challenge the townspeople. He said if they could drink it in one go, he'd spare the town. Rotenberg's mayor decided to step up and drink the entire 3.25 liters of wine all at once. He successfully did it, and the town was saved. And you can see it play out every day on the hour from 10 to 10 at the clock tower in the Martin Box. Now let's go get some food. So right now we're headed off to dinner in actually a pretty historic location here in Rotenburg. And that's because it's the oldest house here. We're super excited to try it out and let's see how the food is. All right, so the restaurant we're at is called Zur Hol, which means to hell. I'm not quite sure why, but I decided to get a white wine that's from the region here in Franconia. So let's see how it is. Oh, that's pretty good. It's a pretty dry white. They had a few different options that we got here for food. So I'm really excited to try those out because this is a great place. Just make sure you make a reservation because it gets super busy. So the first thing we got is a mushrooms and a cream sauce with a canoodle, which is kind of like a little potato dumpling ball. It was on their daily menu, so it was something that instead of Spargelzeit, like asparagusite, like you saw in our Einbeck video, this is mushroomzeit, I guess. So mushroom time. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Just fresh cooked mushrooms and a cream sauce. I really like that. It's a little hot for a hot day, but that's really, really good. So the second thing we decided to get was a mixed seafood plate with asparagus risotto. Well, let's try this out. I'm gonna try it with a little shrimp and some of the risotto here. Mm. Wow, that is phenomenal. And both of these are excellent things, especially if you're not a heavy meat eater. And I'd say definitely come here if you want traditional Franconian food, German food, and to come to a very historic building because this is really good, but again, just remember to make that reservation because it definitely fills up. So we did end up getting another Schneeballen, and this one's from Sugar Bakery, Sugar Bakery, and we got the lemon flavored one, another mini, because we might want to get more, who knows. All right, I'm gonna try this one. Uh -huh. This one's pretty good. It has quite the layer of icing on mm -hmm. top. I'm gonna say my favorite was the vanilla one, the second one that we tried from Broken Sight. What about you? I think that one was my favorite one too. This one would come in second, and then that apple zimp would come in third. However, the first place we tried did have a bunch of other ones that were layered and covered in different stuff, as well as some filled ones. So those might be worth trying. I'm not mm -hmm. saying one place is better than the other, but I prefer the ones that are definitely glazed oh, yeah. with sugar over kind of the standard ones that aren't. Same, same. It gives it a little more flavor, I think. That's gonna do it for our food tour here in Rothenburg. Make sure to check out our other video of how our visit went here. We're gonna keep walking around and we'll see you over at our other videos. Bye.